The opening of the new U Student Centre in DC was a presidential affair. President Michael D. Higgins officiated the ceremony while former DC West U President Niall Behan was in attendance, as well as his successor Vito Maloney Burke. They joined Professor Breen McCraw, President of DCU, who spoke about how DCU got this facility. Euro total came from the Ryan Trust, Bank of Ireland, and indeed profits from the various activities of the DC, DC commercial group of companies, including, for example, the new Columbus campus shop in East York. No government funding was used to deliver this facility, all self funded and, as I say, a testament to generosity. The process of creating the U began six years ago. Since then, DCU has become an autism friendly university. As the U evolved with DCU, it provides areas where all students can feel relaxed. Well. A project in terms of its university and making its contribution of creating an inclusive, diverse, and accessible environment in which students can flourish and take full advantage of their education. It's nice to have, like, just in between lectures and it's a really cool modern building, so it's great to have on campus. Yeah, it's really handy. I remember last year in between lectures there was nowhere really to go apart from the library or the canteen, so to have an actual place where you can sit down and just relax, it's really good. I mean, it looks nice, but it's really too early to form an opinion on how it's going to be in the future. Was it worth the wait? Mm, yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Well, actually, I, I think the name is very good, the U. I think the facilities are very good. I, in my speech, I mentioned in particular the fact that it's dealing with mental health, Although the U was originally meant to open last year, it seems so far it's been worth the wait. I'm Koch Cadden with DCU TV News.